Hi guys, I'm sure we've all come across broken studs before. The trick is getting them out because it's a choice of either getting the stud out or throwing the housing away. And often getting the stud out is a much cheaper option, but you need the right tools to do it. The best type of stud remover is one that does not expand the bolt. Okay, with a lot of the stud extractors you have on the market, they're tapered and as you screw it in, they will expand the top of the bolt, which is absolutely fine if the bolt is proud like this. However, when we run into a situation where the bolt is actually broken off flush with the thread, we can't afford to expand that bolt in the thread because it's only going to make it tighter. This kit, which is a 25 piece kit from SP, it gives us the ability to use these hexagonal fluted drive rods. So they will drive, and let me pick up one of the bigger ones. Perhaps you can see the flutes on the edge a bit better. So that we drill a hole where we can force this all the way down, the whole length of the stud if need be. And then we can put on a drive nut and we can undo that bolt just with a normal socket. The benefit is that we can be driving on six points the whole length of the stud that's left in the housing. So the chances of it slipping are very slight. The chances of getting that stud out, very high. To start with, we select the correct drill guide so we can get the whole central down the bolt. Then we select the correct drill that matches that drill guide. So the aim is to get it started in the center. Okay, once we've got it started, then we continue on. Okay, so now that we've drilled our hole through the center of the stud, we select the appropriate driver. You can see that one end's got a, a slightly larger taper on it than the other. So the one with the largest taper is the one we're going to drive into the centre of the stud. So right, now we've got that through the whole stud, we can select the drive nut. Okay, so by putting the drive nut on here in the appropriate size socket, just gently apply pressure. Okay, in this case it's come. If it, if it didn't come, then we would apply a bit of heat and try it again before we put too much pressure on the driver. So there we have it. A very, very good way to remove a broken stud from a housing. Okay, so this time we're going to have a go at removing the stud that's been broken off below the surface. We'll se select the correct guide. You can see how the guides are bigger on one end and the drill size on the other. So we want this to be as central as possible, so we're going to put the smallest hole for the drill to go through as close as we can to the bolt. And then we're going to drill through that. Obviously it's not a particularly flat surface to start with. So it's good to have a look and check and yep we've got an indentation there from the tip of the drill it looks to be pretty much in the center so we'll continue after having completed the hole through the bolt we now drive the drive a rod into the stud to where 
sure that it's at least through. Then we select the driver. We put the driver nut onto the rod. And again, gently apply pressure. And there she comes. Excellent. All right, well that's a good sign because it's coming out. It means that the thread's not badly damaged. If the thread was badly damaged, then we would um, run a tap through it to clean it out. In this case, it looks pretty right.